Hi, this is my Mint Mate system on a stick. Uh, it's actually on a pretty big stick, uh, 120 gigabyte stick, but uh, I have a couple of others on uh, 16 gigabyte sticks and that works very well too. The advantage of the 120 gigabyte is that I have a lot more space to store things, which I will show you later. Now, this is how it looks uh, when it's loaded and when it's fully developed. Um, initially when you install it, it will look uh, a lot simpler. But with the instructions that I provide below and the, all the tutorials, your system will look exactly the same uh, as this system if you follow the tutorials. Anyhow, this is no different than if you had it installed um, as a native operating system on your PC or if you were running it in double boot on your PC or if you were running it in a virtual partition on your PC. Um, the only difference is you can do more things with it when it is on the stick as I, you will see. Anyhow, many people think that uh, Linux uh, are difficult uh, or retarded or what have you. Well, not at all so. Linux, especially this Mint Mate system, is very simple to use, has a lot of function, and it's very fast. Uh, in fact, for internet work, it's a lot faster uh, than my uh, Windows 7, which, uh, after all, is on an XPS 8300 Dell system with 8 gigabytes of RAM and an i7 processor and what have you. But um, this system is very fast, as you will see. Um, the other advantage of it is um, when you go on the internet especially uh, you don't run a chance to collect any malware uh, because there is very few viruses uh, for Linux. Anyhow, so let me start by showing you a little bit around. Well, first of all, let's go to the start menu, which actually <laughs> is called menu uh, in the official version but I changed the name you can change anything in Linux which is a nice thing uh, and we will have a look here this is your start menu very rich start menu um, let me go to the left side first well there's terminal which is a command prompt we'll get to that later uh, there's a control center let's have a quick look at it Here's a control center where you can, for example, you want to make some settings for your mouse. You click on mouse and you can make settings. Here, for example, the acceleration. I like a fast acceleration, uh, sensitivity, etc., etc. Um, so that is, for example, mouse appearance. Oh, this is nice. Um, these are all the options you have for your skins. Now, um, originally it comes with two uh, options, and those I have downloaded, which is very simple. It's a command with three words, which I provide in my tutorials, <coughs> and you get a lot more skins. And um, I have this uh, called customs, actually this fog skin here. And um, But you can have, for example, this is an interesting one, high contrast skin. Look at this. If you open your folders, um, let's open the folders that's how it will look like. Um, uh, I sometimes use that because uh, it is uh, uh, more visible for me uh, because I have uh, bad eyes. Uh, so that is, th that's a nice skin. Uh, but let's go back to our fox skin. Uh, if you if you want to customize it, you can still customize it. For example, you can get another uh, version of it uh, let's try uh, Rolly. Rolly. Yeah, it's not much different. Mint, 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 mint. That that is uh, that is green. Mint is green. <laughs> yeah, mint is green. Well, I use the industrial one here. Industrial. And as you see, it, it's uh, instant. Uh, um, instant. I don't like mint uh, so much. If you like green, it's fine. But but uh, it, it's kind of uh, uh, not so nice here. Up with the with the X and so on and so forth, not quite as prominent. Anyhow, so let's go back to our industrial. So here you can change your your skins very easy, uh, a lot easier than in in, in um, uh, Windows, I think. Anyhow, 
So let's close this here. And then you have a lot of other things here. Screen saver. Oh, by the way, let's, let's, uh, discuss it. Power management. Let's go on power management first. You want to set <coughs> your display to sleep when inactive. Well, the default I think is 10 minutes, but you want to set it to, to never because that's kind of annoying if your uh, screen goes down all the time. However, that's not all. <laughs> as I found out the hardware. You also have to go into screensaver and there are these two little boxes here that you have to uncheck because even if the, uh, if the uh, thing doesn't go to sleep, the screensaver starts after here, in, in this case five minutes, which of course you could change, but uh, who needs a screensaver these days? You don't really need a screensaver. That's for the old uh, CRT uh, uh, um, devices but not for the flat screens okay and and then um, all kinds of things here uh, that you have to explore um, which um, I'll show you a few in a moment um, then the next thing is software manager well that's a very interesting one um, I, I parked it down here because it, it usually takes a, a second to to come up the software manager is actually your download center and you can download I think they have like a hundred thousand programs in there uh, a lot of programs for example if you want internet programs um, let's say internet okay you um, can download I have Firefox and I also have uh, 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 Chromium but uh, for example if I wanted Opera I just double click on it and it says Opera and it says not installed I will install it eventually because I like uh, to have uh, two three browsers always <coughs> but uh, let's go back to the categories if you don't know exactly what you want you can just put in browsers uh, browsers and um, it'll bring up see it bring up the same thing here <coughs> or um, I know a lot of people like games uh, you bring up games games and there is a lot of games now that may be not the ones you're familiar with but uh, there are games uh, but for example if you want um, uh, what are they called uh, the uh, these games again I forget the name uh, let me see Steam I think Steam yeah Steam uh, the Steam games are here Here's a Steam launcher. So you find a lot of things here. Of course, you don't find all the same programs that you have in Windows. Um, uh, there are other programs, and they're just as good, but you have to learn a little more. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, you can um, you can run um, some of the Windows programs um, uh, with a facility um, that uh, works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. I rather use the native programs uh, rather than uh, trying to get back to my old Windows programs. Okay, so here you can uh, really get all kinds of uh, um, programs uh, that you want and it's very easy because if you install them uh, you can even uninstall them here for example I have this program down there uh, which is called Shutter Shutter uh, and if I go into Shutter it will tell me it's installed and if I wanted to remove it you just click here it's very simple so uh, so for programs, for getting programs, installing programs, removing programs, that simple. <coughs> Next, <coughs> software manager we had. Okay, here you have, of course, the trash can, and that's a nice thing also in uh, um, in Linux. You have two kinds of three deletes. One is to delete into the trash can, and the other one is to delete, delete, which is you know a lot nicer. No, you don't have to worry about emptying the trash can all the time but if you're a careful guy you may want to send them to trash and then you can recover them if you then the home folder of course <coughs> home folder 
you have uh, um, you know all all the stuff here now I don't have a lot of stuff in here because uh, just a few pictures uh, because I store all my things on a separate partition and I explain to you later in a later tutorial how to get that separate partition because and this is here my 115 gigabyte volume uh, remind you that's a 120 gigabyte stick actually it's more than 120 it's 125 or something like that 128 and uh, the rest is taken by uh, the um, operating system but I had 115 gigabyte empty and, um, and and I made another partition I'll show you in a minute and on, on this I, I have stored all my data um, for example videos um, oh here's a nice one watch this uh, fireplace how about that you can run your screen fireplace sit back and relax with a cognac and a nice cigar isn't that relaxing? Okay, <laughs> you can, of course, um, do other things. I, I, I have. Uh, let's go back to. Uh, oops, let's go back. Uh, let's see where do I have my PowerPoint and documents? I think. Uh, okay, my PowerPoint documents here. Yips. Now they have to come up. It's a big file. Has to come up. Hmm, there we go. Uh, PowerPoint shows. Okay, let's see whether we find one that is nice to display. Um, Carnival in Venice, how about this? Now, this is a PowerPoint show that you am displaying here with the facilities that are in Linux. Very nice. That's a when the carnival in Venice takes place so and so on ok I think we don't want, want to go through the whole presentation because that's pretty long anyhow this is just to show you that I have used my uh, um, my 115 gigabyte extra partition to store some data I mean uh, some of them are pretty hefty they are like this one, the, the videos, they are 6.3 gigabytes. Uh, this c would not go onto a, a plain installed system because you wouldn't have that much space. The amount of space you have there is very limited um, because you only have uh, the uh, uh, 4 gigabyte storage that you created earlier. Um, for example, let's go in pictures. Let's just to see and, and let's see how much space there is. There's only 1.5 gigabyte. So uh, you know how much can you can you put in there, or in in, in downloads? Uh, how much is there? Also, the 1.5 gigabyte. In those 1.5 gigabytes, they are shared between all of them. Now, usually there is a little more, and I'll explain to you why. Uh, because let's close this and close this also there's probably uh, oh yeah this is the uh, recorder that uses the rest of the space okay uh, so much for um, for the home computer and and then you can go to computer of course and in computer that, that's interesting you have access to everything that is on this PC for example this is my Windows 7 uh, this is my uh, some storage area. This, these are my virtual systems. Uh, this is um, I don't even know that, that that's another uh, HDD. Um, this this is the uh, 115 gigabyte we were at um, just uh, a minute ago. Uh, let's see. There is one that is called uh, where, where is it? Uh, that's called test partition. No, that's this one here. Okay, here's a test partition. Okay, um, a little partition, and I can get at it. And if I wanted to um, copy something from there, I could copy it. For example, uh, do, 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 uh, for example, beautiful pictures. Yeah, let, let me copy copy this one here. I copy the beautiful pictures. Now, remind you, this is a partition in my Windows 7 system. Okay, and the beautiful pictures. I copy into my 115 gigabyte volume 
and paste them there. Okay, beautiful pictures. There they are. They're all here. So, for example, if you have a system um, that is dead, uh, a Windows system that's dead, and that, uh, and and the guy says, "Oh, I, I have uh, all the pictures of my grandchildren. How can I get at them? My system is dead." Well, you take the your stick and 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 you just copy them uh, to somewhere else. Since you have access to all the files, well, you attach uh, another <coughs> disk or USB stick and copy them into there. Um, or if you have a, a neat system like this with a lot of space, you can copy it into here too. So much for the left side. Okay, now the right side here, or the middle, uh, where to speak, th these are the sections um, uh, by topic. Now all is no topic. All is all the programs and those are not all the programs those are all the programs I left on it those are shortcuts of course um, like in all programs in Windows um, so if if you're not sure uh, in which category a program is stored and you only know the name for example calculator well you, f you find it under C this is nicely alphabetically ordered but calculator of course is an accessories <coughs> and there is uh, Shutter, which is um, a, a nice program to make uh, screenshots. I show you later. And there's another screenshot program, and there's text editor, and there's another text editor. Then you go into graphics. Uh, there's the famous GIMP, and there's an image viewer, and there's some other graphics here. Internet, well, right now only Chrome and Firefox. There were some other things, a mail program and so, but I don't use those. I use AOL. So, so I, I I threw those out, and I show you in a minute how to throw them out. Um, Office. Um, this is the one that was just displaying our um, uh, PowerPoint show, which is uh, Libre Office Impress. Uh, this is Libre Office, um, which is a version of Open Office. Um, so that was Impress, and uh, it was impressive how it, it did that. Um, then there is um, there's writer. Let me just open it. See, this is writer, which is uh, very similar to uh, to Word. It's a little different, and maybe not quite as fancy up here. Um, but um, it's a nice program. It, it does the same job. It's nothing, nothing different. Okay, sound and video. Okay, there's a, a few sound and video. Um, programs. Here is the one we are recording with right now. Record my desktop. By the way, one of the best recording programs I know. Uh, I always have trouble with my recording programs in Windows 7, <coughs> but this one works nicely, as you as you can witness. Then system tools, disk uh, usage analyzer. Well, that's a quickie. Um, it shows you quickly how much of your disk is used. See, 131 gigabytes. It says 16 percent of it is used. So. Uh, um, which is 16.5 gigabytes available on it. Now this is very confusing because sometimes it's in binary, sometimes it's in in decimal, um, but um, that's the way it is. Uh, where were we? System tools. Okay. Um, Log five. Your power statistics. System monitor. That, that that's a nice one. Um, here are the resources. Um, it shows you how the CPUs are used. Now I have eight of these, these cores here, and uh, Linux does a pretty nice job. It um, spreads the load pretty evenly. I mean, there's not much load, uh, you know, a few percent here and there. Uh, memory here, here it says it's currently using 1.3 gigabyte. Of course, I have a 8 gigabyte. Well, here it says 7.8. And, and I might as well use it, but it could also run in 512 megabytes, um, even in 256 uh, megabytes. But then, of course, it's a lot slower. Uh, so <coughs> might as well use uh, the 8 gigabytes I have. And then here, some network activity. Uh, I'm not doing much on network right now. It's just my, which you can't hear, is my, it's down here, the Nostalgia Italia is my, web radio that's running. So, um, some nice Italian music. So this is a nice one. Uh, it shows you the processes also. Oops, let me click on those here. That are running uh, and uh, 
it shows some, it says something about the system that's not very useful and here are the file systems here again this is the this is a system here the 12 gigabyte of which 6.7 are free um, this is uh, my uh, 115 gigabyte uh, um, data partition and uh, this here is uh, 2 gigabyte uh, I'm not sure what that is Oh, this is a test partition. No, that's the one I, I mounted earlier. Uh, yeah, so that takes some away. So let me unmount that. That's, by the way, um, um, something you should always do. If you mount a partition that's not part of the system here, you should later always unmount it. And uh, see, it disappeared. Uh, because um, uh, not in Linux, but uh, in, in Windows, you <laughs> make it trouble when you want to use it because uh, Windows may say, oh, this is being used by some Mint program and can't use it. Um, that's a permission problem then. So unmount them always uh, before you close. Um, okay. So this is a, is a nice feature, the system monitor. Uh, let's go back to our start menu. Uh, administration, of course, there's a lot of things. Gparted, that's a disk management of uh, um, of Linux. Uh, you have to download that, by the way. It does not come originally, which is a little strange. Then you know if you want to use printers, uh, software manager. Uh, we were in time and day. Yeah, time and date you can set and. Update manager. Update manager is important. That's something you should you do at the very beginning to update it because <coughs> the ISO you download it is usually back level and you get a lot of updates. So be be prepared to update for an hour or so, maybe even longer. Okay, and then last preferences appearance we had assistive technologies. Um, that's uh, you know for handicapped. Um, this main menu. That's that's an interesting one here main menu you better make that big because we don't see very much okay here you can choose what is being shown in in your start menu uh, when it's checked it shows when it's not checked like programming is, is unchecked it doesn't show or other is unchecked and then for example in accessories you know I have unchecked most of the stuff so if you're looking for something that's not in the start menu or if you want to reduce your start menu that's how you do it you just check and uncheck um, those boxes here or oh, where were we right now we were in um, in preferences I think and here you see I have unchecked a lot of stuff you know that I, I either I don't use or I don't really understand what it is uh, so this is how you can tune your start menu very easy. Uh, by the way, it doesn't tune. This is one of the things that doesn't happen immediately. It happens on the next reboot uh, that uh, that it will adjust. Okay. Now, one other thing, which is uh, here, of course, you can search, um, and this search works very nicely. For example, I don't know. You want to adjust the sound. Sound. Okay. Here comes sound. Okay, and you can can adjust your sound, input, output sound, what have you, uh, you know, output, output sound, input sound, etc. Then, um, if for example you put on shutter, that was my, uh, my program here, okay, shutter comes up, if you click it, okay, you can make uh, screenshots either a selection like you do with the snipping tool or the whole desktop or only the window that's open so let's make one of the desktop it, it's funny it takes uh, it always makes a little error here which I don't understand it does, does, does it anyhow <coughs> so it, it is, uh, did your screenshot and if you want to find it you have to go into into your oops come on Okay, you have to go into your pictures folder, and and there it is. There's a screenshot of our desktop. Okay, I don't think we want that in here, so let's just delete it. Okay, so much for that part of the. And then there's a second part to it. If you click up here, here it says favorites. Then you have a list of favorites that. Uh, 
uh, that you put in there or don't put in there. For example, I don't need this in here, so I remove it uh, because um, I have it in the in the taskbar here, which we'll get to in a in a minute. I said mail client, I don't need that, so I remove it. But um, all this pigeon internet messenger, I don't message with anybody, uh, so I remove that. <coughs> media player of all that maybe. So if you want a favorite in here, for example appearance, you can right click on it and get say show in favorites. So then when you go to favorites, appearance will be there. Well, I don't really want it here. Uh, so I'll remove it. So anyhow, uh, you see you can put the five, six, seven favorite programs that you always look at into favorites and then they are more easily accessible because sometimes you don't remember if you if you look through all these sections where exactly they are. Now of course you don't want to put some in that uh, you have in the taskbar because that would be um, double double. Okay, speaking of the taskbar, let's go to the taskbar. As you see, this is a very nice taskbar. Now again, <coughs> when you get the system out of the box, once you install it, it's very skimpy. It's a little itty bitty taskbar, but it's very, very easy <coughs> to set up this way. Um, so, let's go to the taskbar. Let's start on the right. Well, here, of course, you have your, your, your uh, date and time. This is the, um, the um, internet um, connection. So, um, you can get uh, connection information here if you want to. Um, you can also let me see how uh, it works. Okay. By the way, this this computer I have both uh, wired and wireless, so I could even set it up for the wireless, which I don't need because it's wired. Then of course I have to put in the password of the router. Uh, then um, the next, this is a microphone because I'm using the microphone right now. And this is interesting. It's Bluetooth. I um, let me uh, le let me put my uh, my phone on. Let me turn my phone on because I have um, I have connected my phone earlier, and um, you can t do interesting things. For example, you can send files to the phone. Okay, files. Here are files. If I want to send a file, I don't know. Let me. This is a picture. Um, uh, let me send this file to it, and, and uh, you can see it. But you'll hear it. It'll be my phone. I'll hold it close to the uh, to the mic. It'll beep. Okay. <laughs> so it did send. Uh, it did connect, but I'm not sending it. I I'll just cancel it. I don't want this file on my phone. Okay, so much for Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is nice. Uh, by the way, the shutter that never that we used earlier always stays around here. This here is a control for the recording program I'm using, and this is a recording program, and this is shutter again. Okay, now here are the two uh, the two browsers I have right now, and as I said earlier, um, I will probably get uh, um, Opera also. Well, which is not a big deal, but I didn't want to do it during the session here. So let's look at Firefox. Uh, well, first of all, did you notice how fast this came up? And um, then I have uh, my default uh, um, start uh, page here, which is the, uh, the seven forums. Uh, and I can operate it from here, of course. You know, user CP or somebody posted something. Or, or I can go, this happens to be my 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 YouTube, I can go to my YouTube, uh, or for example the PC Help forum. How about that? Let me see if there's anything going going on here. And you notice it's more or less instant. The uh, uh, it's very very fast. Okay, the uh, um, the Chromium. I'm currently uh, running the Nostalgia Italia here, the Italian music. This is my. Um, uh, web music and there's a lot of different musics I can run here which is very nice okay then um, last not least uh, there's a terminal terminal you don't need very often it's command prompt but once in a while you need a simple 
um, a simple command. Uh, for example, for downloading those additional skins, uh, um, and, and, and it's a simple command, apt uh, uh, space install space uh, mate dash uh, themes. And that's uh, that's w what it is, and I give you this information in the tutorial, so you don't have to remember that. Okay, and here there is a, a little document. It's uh, like a uh, like WordPad um, that I like to have handy. And sometimes you want to keep an URL or or write a quick uh, information down or so, or copy something quickly. Um, that's nice to have this in the taskbar. So this is um, about uh, all. Again, in summary, the main advantage of the stick uh, is you can access everything that is on this computer. I can access, let me show you again, uh, I can access my, uh, well, first of all, I can access, of course, uh, my data partition. Um, I can access virtual systems, that is uh, um, a partition on uh, on Windows. SSD storage the same. That's a, uh, that's an external an external SSD. Let me turn this off. Then it should disappear. Uh, oh, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Windows 7 is my Windows 7 system. Data is my data partition uh, for Windows 7. Images is an imaging partition. Oops, now it turned out. Uh, all a little late. Um, this was a little test partition we opened earlier, and Caspar read write <coughs> those are the four gigabytes that uh, you uh, reserve uh, uh, at the creation of the system, uh, which you will see later in the. Okay, and and these are all the files here uh, that uh, that are the native files, so to speak, if you want so. But I don't store anything here. I just store everything. I store everything in here. This, this, by the way, um, they're called SD Docs, XD Music, because I originally created these files for my uh, for my tablet and for my phone, and uh, and I just use them here because those are the ones that um, I most likely want. For example, pictures, pictures, uh, uh, pictures of my house, for example, uh, you know, things like that. Anyhow, so. That was a little tour, and I hope you're convinced now that it's worthwhile to go through the effort. The whole installation and tuning and everything, the installation didn't take very long. and takes maybe 20 minutes. Uh, but then you have to do the updates. Uh, that takes uh, like an, an hour. Um, you have to create the data partition, um, which, of course, depending on the size, of your stick will be bigger or smaller, but even on a 16 gigabyte stick, you have a data partition of about seven, eight gigabytes. Uh, then uh, you have to, of course, make this whole setup, which is very simple. That takes uh, well, for I can make the whole setup in one hour. You probably need three hours, but it's fun and you're learning something. So let me close here and close my recorder, um, which I stop right here. And then we'll see you in all the other tutorials that are following.